hooked up to the battery. So we're going to go to 12 volt DC. We're going to be local. We're going to set our time down. We're going to set our time to minimum. And I'm, we're, we're going to run at 2.2. Turn on. Red light's on. It's moving. It's going to move forward. And then it'll come back. Now it's, when it hits the switch, it'll go in the cycle. And if we make changes to the time, we take place on the next cycle. So we'll watch and see how far it goes out. Actually, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna bump it up to about seven seconds. I, know it be good. I wanna go over the time setting a little more in detail. So the reason we start slow and slowly increase it as it walks itself out is so that it doesn't run into the rebar at the other end. The time tells the unit when to reverse the motor. Now if we do have too big of a time in there and it does hit the rebar, uh, chances are it might pop a little fuse in there, which we have replacements and I, I showed you in a previous video where to find those and where to swap them out. But that's where the time comes into play. The goal is to walk it out as far as you can, as close to the rebar, without actually hitting the rebar. So I'm gonna, I got it on uh, remote and on 12 volt and it's actually on and it's just waiting. The red light's on. You can see nothing's happening though. Cause it, remote and 12 volt. Until I power it on with the remote itself, nothing will happen. So I'm gonna turn the remote on. Let's see if okay. And then in order, it says stop, which means it's in stop mode. If I turn the motor on, now it's running. And I can use the speed or time. I'm gonna take time, I'm gonna take time and increase it. And while it's blinking, it's sending to the drive unit. And it'll that time will take place on the next cycle. So this cycle, it should go out further. Okay, so. I can take it up again. It should go out further again. That's the nice thing about the remote. You can just keep tweaking the time up until you get exactly what you want. If you increase the speed, it'll automatically decrease the time. So I'm gonna hold speed, I'm gonna take it up. You just heard it kick up in speed. To see the time went down, and that's to prevent you from crashing. So now it's going to stop probably a little short of where it was before. So you can increase time, uh, increase speed, and don't worry about the time. It'll automatically, as long as it wasn't crashing before, it won't crash. All right. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Motor off. Is it these two buttons? And it stopped. So setup screen, with this off, you hold the time button, you just turn it on, and then it asks for your, you can use the up and down arrows to change your mover address. This was 1002, set it there, and then you hit speed, and then you can select up and down for the track length. 80 feet or 50 foot. And then you hit speed again, and it's in run mode.